a lot of people are struggling with mental health right now. A lot of the guys and girls I know are just living their day-to-day -day life directionless, filling the day with randomness and boredom until it's time to go out and be bored with your friends or to just go to sleep. That's okay if it works for them. I'm not shaming them, but it doesn't work for me. Not having a routine for me leads to this thing called a summer crisis. It's an annual time of negative emotions when us teenagers and young people are off of school or college, and now we have 90 days of the whole summer of freedom to do whatever we want. School would make us wake up and leave at the same time every day, and there's something to be said about that, regardless if school, what we're actually learning is bullshit. Take away that routine and a lot of people, including myself, kind of freak out. You end up filling your day with hours of unproductivity and boredom, I don't feel fulfilled when I've been unproductive for hours of the day. I feel sad. I just feel like I kind of wasted my day. Maybe this is toxic on my part, but this negativity is what helps me actually go and do things that are good for me. When I do these things in my day, I can go to sleep feeling content knowing, yeah, I checked off those things. I've done it. This is what I want you to do. Here is how you don't waste another summer. Step one is to realize that this will be difficult because it is indescribably easier to just lay in bed all day eat junk food, watch YouTube or TikTok, and a part of your monkey brain is always gonna wanna do this. There's gonna be a layer of difficulty when choosing to not do these things. Acknowledge that. If you don't give in to these urges, it's gonna be a constant battle with your mind to go do that thing. You can eat healthy after the gym and have chicken and broccoli, but in the back of your mind, you're always gonna want something salty or sweet. You could do your work, but 30 minutes in, you're in the back of your mind, you're gonna wanna do nothing and be lazy. This is not an efficient way to live and I've made a recent video that explains that you should do all of these things that your brain is just itching you to do in the last hour of the day. Basically the premise of that video is to wait to do all those things the last hour of the day and kind of have those things as your reward for having a productive day. Step two is to write down at least three things that you want to do during your day. Two years ago for me it was playing piano, reading, and meditating. It will probably be different for you but you want to have at least three things that during the day you can check off and be like I am proud of myself for doing those things today and I am happy I did it. Write this down. If you're not writing this down, you gotta pause the video and go do it. This is an action video. If you wanna just go watch something else that'll make you feel productive but not actually doing something, please watch something else. If you're here, write down three things right now, no bullshit, that you wanna have done during the day. And these should be difficult things that are kinda like, oh, I have to go do that thing, but I know it's good for me, like going to the gym. Write those down. Step three is to be consistent. You do it for one day, do it for the next one. But if you do it for one day and then you miss the next day, that's okay. Consistency is not 100%. You've done it every single day. You've never slipped up. You've never missed a day. It's the overall increase in the amount of times you've actually done something. If you work out for 14 days in a row and you miss one day, that's not inconsistency because the overall trend is you've done the thing. Don't aim for 100%. Aim for an overall increase in the weeks and the summer and months and, and then on of an overall increase of doing or not doing the activity that you want them to do or not do. Does that make any sense? Just have that checklist in the back of your mind or physically on your phone, and then you're gonna be feel so accomplished at the end of the day because you've done those things. And you can still do the bad shit, but just after you've done all the good shit, and there's no battle in your brain, and you're just living, and you feel so good. It's like a balance beat. This is how you have a good summer on a micro scale. You do those three things during the day, and usually more, you can add more once you've consistently done those three things. You're consistent with it, and there you go. Your summer is now better than any other summer you've had before. But now let's talk about how to have a good life. Young people have a pretty vague idea of what it is they want to do with their life. Totally normal and okay, and I'm still not entirely sure. The cool thing is, this summer you have so much free time that you actually might figure it out. Here's the cool part that I want you to just grasp. You have the power in your hands to make this the best summer you've ever had. I realized this when I was biking the other day. The only person or thing stopping me from having a productive, successful, fulfilling, and I'm happy summer is me. I can't blame anything else and you can't blame anything else because the only thing stopping you from having the summer you want, productive, feeling happy, is you. You have the power to make this the best summer you've ever had. You can choose if you want to spend your summer laying in bed, doing nothing, feeling unproductive, and then before you know it, fuck school's back again or you can choose to be productive while still loving yourself and being social and you could have a great summer and then continue that momentum into the school year and then your life is kind of on track and for the first time ever you might feel like hey i actually kind of know what i'm doing now <laughs> are you really gonna waste another summer make every day count as you spend more time being productive and off social media and off your phone during the summer you'll find that you're thinking more. As you improve yourself and you reach goals that you wanted to reach to make yourself the kind of person you want to be, you'll find that you're going to start thinking about the future more. 
you've probably never done this before. You've pushed off thinking about the future and thinking about your career and all these big boy and big girl things. And to that I say, good. Don't have an idea of what you wanna do. I'd say, let life handle that, have your interests, let them guide you and eventually you'll figure it out. Instead, I want you to figure out where you want to be. Time to whip out that notebook again. These are your life goals. So take this seriously and write in as detailed as possible. Every answer should be around half a page to a page. Just dedicate like 30 minutes to this. It's not that much. And then you'll know where you're going. Let me explain. Section one, write physically. For me, I want wide lats, wide shoulders, big calves. I want a 405 bench. I want a five plate squat and six plate deadlift. These are, you know, 10 to 20 years from now. But that's, I have this image of myself as a strong guy with, you know, nice, there's a nice body. And now when I have my workout, I know what I'm working towards. And you know, it's not the destination, that's the goal, but it's the journey. And then, yeah, eventually I will look like that. And that's cool as fuck. Imagine in your mind the best body you ever possibly could have. Or if you want to climb a mountain or some shit, write all your weightlifting, cardio, and physical goals, and then describe it in words. You can get there one day, you just have to start now and then never stop. Easy, right? Section two, mentally. What beliefs do you want to have? Section four, right? Relationships. How many friends do you want to maintain? For me, it's only five. I have five friends and I'm good. I don't need any more. They love me, I love them. We're out. That's as many as I want to maintain for the rest of my life. Do you want a partner to marry? What will they be like? How will you interact with them? What will your relationship be like? Do you want kids? How are you going to maintain your relationships with your family, your cousins, your siblings, everything? How do you want to interact with strangers and everyone you come across? Write it all down. Section five, write financially. You don't have to want to be filthy rich, but the answer should be for all of us to be financially free. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to live paycheck to paycheck and being your own boss and having your own business and not having anyone need to tell you what to do or when to do or what to say or where to say it. The reason why a lot of us are kind of like, you know, I don't really care about, you know, money or anything is because once we write this down and we admit to ourselves, yes, I want to be financially free, there's no more time to waste and now you actually have to go do it. You have to actually start working towards it. So have the guts to write it down. You know, this is 10, 20 years, I keep saying this. Now you have something that you know you can kind of work towards. Yes, I want to be financially free. And I feel like you should too. Maybe there's more sections you want to add, but this is a good starting point. Now you know how to have a day-to-day -day thing. I'm doing those three things that you, wrote, that you wrote down that you want to do in your day. And now you have a more long-term in the back of your mind. And you can consciously or subconsciously work towards those things. And this is how you have a great summer and then carries on. This is how you don't waste another summer. And I know you don't want to waste another summer because it doesn't feel good. Now you feel like, wow, summer just passed me and now school happens again and fuck and now all this bullshit. Only you are stopping yourself from having your best summer possible and being productive. So start today and write all this shit down and I promise you will be better. You'll start working towards things and it'll feel good because you've always wanted to work towards something, anything. Start today from this video. Another good way to ensure that you don't waste the summer is to have an accountability partner. You tell a friend or someone you trust very closely and tell them what you want to do this summer, how you want to do it, and you want them to hold you accountable on whether or not you do it. Obviously, you should be holding yourself accountable, but of course it's nice to have someone that's on your case like, oh, did you do this? And if you're asking them to do it, it's not like, oh, this guy's being fucking annoying. Why is he telling me what to do? It'll only help you. This can be me as well. Personal coaching calls are in the description and we can write you a summer slash life plan and I will make sure that you do it every day. I'll keep you accountable. Make sure that you don't go astray. That rhyme, that's cool as fuck. Also, honestly, it does just help me. I'll see you being productive, doing the things you want. I'm holding you accountable and now I'm like, I have to hold myself accountable and do these things too because I'm telling you to do this so now I have to do this too. It's like, it's a win-win for both of us. You're not gonna really waste another summer, are you?